welcome back to my channel my name is Renee if you're new hi I actually just finished booking our first vacation it's kind of a long story so we're definitely moving from this apartment we just have been toying around with the idea of possibly moving out of state we plan a trip to go look at apartments in this particular area I'm curious to know what you guys think I feel like it's gonna be a shock to a lot of you guys but comment down below if you think that we're moving out of Florida where do we go? I think Tampa has been like a lot. It's a beautiful city, but I think we've just been through so much here that, I don't know, it just hasn't been the kindest to us lately. So we're looking to possibly maybe just venture out for a year or two. And I know it's crazy with a baby to move out of the state with like grandparents and stuff like that, but it would be beneficial for both of our careers. I don't know. We're just looking, but we're gonna plan a little vacation, not this weekend, but come Memorial Day weekend. And Bryson will be on a plane, which is crazy. So just finished booking that. I did like a whole bunch of an admin work this morning. I booked a hair appointment, paid like past due invoices, deposited some checks. I've been trying to grow out my hair. It's like half grown out, half not. And then the part that's not grown out, like is just dead. Bryson, look. This boy has been giving me so much hassle lately. You have to be constantly touched and played with and watched. He's at that point in his life where he just wants constant attention. So um, I need to run a few errands. I think that he might pass out in the stroller on the way to do some errands. I just gotta go run to the post office to do some returns. quite a while i just made some new spotify playlists so i used to do this like all the time this was my life it's so much fun for me i don't know why just to like put together a mood with music is just my thing i was on the treadmill the other day and i listened to like an old playlist and i was like why don't i do this anymore like music just makes me feel so good and i have like a playlist literally for every single mood if you guys have been following me for so long you know how much my music playlist mean to me i just created three that i'm working on i will leave them linked down below the summer coffee shop playlist this is like a summer morning playlist just really happy kind of morning style vibes and then i have one called summer indie so this is like a girly like twirly vibe i don't know how else to describe it i put dancing barefoot in the grass twirl baby twirl and then then last but not least is one called jumpstart so this is just like kind of like getting a pep in your step music with like beats and stuff most likely for workouts so i will link all three of these down below i'm really excited to continue making playlists i think the last one that i made was like a really long time ago while he's sleeping i thought i would share with you guys some new clothes that i got i recently got rid of like my whole entire closet and i'm not exaggerating i don't have a kind of an exaggeration, right? I've pretty much gotten rid of, I wanna say like 89% of my clothes. I haven't really done any shopping in about a year. I picked up some new clothes. This is from Free People. Free People is like a hit or miss for me. I feel like some of it is very bohemian um, and some of them, like the pieces that I have, I keep forever. I think I have like two or three pieces from Free People and they're expensive but they've been in my closet for a long time so this is more of like it's kind of like a little ballet style top it's this like lilac -y purple color and it's really form-fitting um the scrunched up shoulders really gives my body some definition i picked up some stuff from lululemon i know that the align top is this is a really popular top it's like a sports bra slash top you don't need to have both which i really like this is just a nude and i want pieces i can go with a lot of different things and then i picked up these white runner shorts i've been trying to get back into running slowly but surely so having some nice bottoms that aren't too revealing not too cheeky is great and then i picked up another line top just the color white because again this can really go with any bottoms that i have and then i picked up these so this was kind of like a splurge i have some of these wide bottom yoga style leggings 
from Aerie that are black and are really, really form-fitting. They're so comfortable, but these ones are specifically made, I think, to work out in. So this is a, I would say like a mauve, like a burnt purple color. It's almost like a dusty, deep brown purple color. I don't know how to describe it. My thing right now is it has to look good and it has to feel good. If I don't feel good in it, I'm not gonna like hold myself in a manner that I want to hold myself, you know? You know when like clothes are just like, they don't fit or they're so tight. It's like, you just instantly just don't feel good. Like I want comfortable clothes. I found this on Amazon, believe it or not. It's like this pink lounge set. I've been trying to find some stuff on Amazon and it's like a hit or miss. It's like a miss miss when you miss an Amazon clothing purchase. It's like, what the heck did I just order? Definitely ordered a few of those, but this one's really comfortable and it actually looks really nice. It's quality, you know, for the price that it is, it's not bad. And then I splurged a little on this one, but I saw Michelle Reed actually wear this in one of her Nully orders. It's this beautiful top. It's a quality piece that I'll keep with me forever. It's called the Vine Half Zip. It just looks expensive. It is a little expensive, but it's just like really nice. It's one of those pieces that I don't even think I'm ever going to throw in the wash because it's so clean looking. Yeah, it's really, really durable. And I feel like wearing this with a nice leggings or something will just make you feel put together but still very comfortable and cozy. So I loved it. When I saw her wear it, I was like, I gotta find that. So that's just some like, I would say like a lounge wear little haul. Good morning, guys. I got a very exciting package in the mail. Factor. You guys know I love Factor. We didn't go grocery shopping this week, so Factor just helps us out. These are like quality meals that are dietitian approved. They're healthy. You just pop them in the microwave for two minutes and you get yourself a hearty, healthy meal. So yummy. I've gotten so many people on Factor and they love me for it. So we're gonna see what we have this week. Oh, okay, let's see. Vegan mushroom marsala, creamy pesto pork chop, spicy poblano beef bowl, roasted tomato feta cavatappi. What's a cavatappi? Oh, it's a pasta. We've got creamy Parmesan chicken. That sounds so good. I might do this one. Sun-dried tomato chicken. Yeah, we're gonna do the parm chicken. And then of course we've got the smoothies, which are awesome for breakfast. You don't have to cook. There's no like mess. You literally just pop it in the microwave for two minutes. I think I'm gonna grab a smoothie too while I eat my lunch. There's mango, strawberry banana, and the tropical fruit. I think I'm gonna go with the tropical Fruit. But yeah, it's, these are so good. There's always like a vegetable. There's always some sort of protein. And they have other options too if you're vegan or paleo, keto, whatever. I personally like the chef's choice because it gives you an option of a little bit of everything. You don't even have to clean up dishes, which is great. So this is what it looks like. The creamy chicken parm. We got some broccoli. This is so good. I've been loving tomatoes in oven baked meals lately because when they burst open, like all the tomato juice gets everywhere and it has so much flavor. I love that I'm getting a quality meal. I feel full. I feel satisfied. They're packed with flavor. We love them. Mm, so amazing. I will leave them linked down below. They have a code for you guys. Renee50 will get you 50% off your first box. That's a lot. Pretty big discount. I know that you guys are going to like it. So I will leave them linked down below. Mm -mm -mm. On another note, I am loving my new Amazon purchase. Super cozy outfit that I feel put together in, but still like I feel like I'm in PJs. You know, like I can go outside in this. Anyway, all right. Let me enjoy my meal. Goodbye. So I just got this beautiful Bible in the mail i ordered this on amazon as well and it is stunning look how pretty this is oh my god no no not oh my god oh my gosh yeah this is really pretty so it will like tell you history it tells you kind of like the lessons in, involved in each of the the books and yeah, I've been studying the Bible, but I feel like I wanted something a little bit more, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. So I also got these Bible markers or highlighters, if you will. They're like these really like pastel neutral toned colors, which I like. And then I found these. These are little tabs for all of the stories. I got through about one page of these. I have four more. If I do like one a day, 
I'll be done in like four days. So this is what it looks like. It looks so good. I'm obsessed. And it came with this like ruler thing. So each one is perfectly aligned. Kind of worked out perfectly because this Bible is the perfect length for five and it goes like one, two, three, four, five. So I will complete this probably by the end of next week, but wow, that looks so good. I'm currently heating up a bottle for Bryson. He's on his last little bit of the formula that we got. So I've been doing combo feeding now because this boy is eating like a madman. He is eating so much. We ran out of all of my frozen breast milk. He's still doing about half and half right now, but I'm not supplying enough for him. So I've been trying to pump every so often to kind of get boost my supply. This specific formula is really hard to come by. It's like an organic one. This is the one that we're using. It's pretty much gone. Um, it was the last one at the grocery store right down here. I ordered it on Amazon a few days ago and it wasn't here and it said it wasn't gonna be delivered until mid-June. And if you know anything about babies, it takes a while for them to adjust to formula. So he's starting to slowly adjust to this specific formula. So I don't wanna switch him. So I'm gonna have to run downstairs and see if they have any. But like I said, that was the last one that was there when I picked it up a few weeks ago. We shall see. I'm gonna run down there, see if they have it. If not, I ordered another one on Amazon, just a bigger one, and it says it should be here tomorrow. But we don't have enough in the meantime. So if there's nothing, we're gonna have to just like figure it out. Biggest milestone just happened. You want to show them? Are you ready? Okay, go. One, two, three. Come on. unknown that's like you kind of have to watch them developmentally developmentally how do you say that word developmentally developly i don't know you have to watch them and it's not uncommon for them to have you know delays or possibly have some disabilities and stuff like that so when i see him like being able to do all this stuff i just thank god so much because he's like doing so good that was so fun <laughs> makes me feel like oh, he's gonna like live a normal life you know he's just a little early that's all he just wanted to come to the party a little early like his mama i literally i am always on time i used to arrive at like interviews 30 minutes before and i'd just be panicking in my car he's like his mama he's a little impatient and a little early oh he's still doing it he's like look guys look look how cute he is look at those blue eyes look at those blue eyes hi guys hi guys welcome to my channel my name is bryson thank you god oh thank you god Whew, that was awesome you want to do it one more time? Let's do it one more time. Oh, straight to it. Whoa. You guys, he's so tall. Z is 6'5", I think. Yeah, 6'5", or 6'6", something like that. So he's going to be a, kind of a tall one. I'm 5'7", so he likes the camera. Good job, Bubby. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Juicy watermelon. Kind of strange, but I was like very intrigued. I'm like, I gotta try this. So 
I guess it's a double shot of espresso. It smells like watermelon. I've had recently tried their vanilla flavor and then they have a new hazelnut flavor that I tried. Wasn't a huge fan of either. Vanilla wasn't awful, but it just tastes very artificial. The pot itself is really pretty. It's like this like pink, almost like tie-dye looking. Very summer. But like what creamer do I put in a vanilla noted coffee? I think I'm gonna try the sweet cream. I don't know about this, it's really weird. <clears throat> Very strange. Like you just had a Jolly Rancher in your mouth and then you took a sip of coffee. That's what it tastes like. I actually just had my first therapy appointment with BetterHelp. It was really actually nice to talk to someone else about my problems for once besides Z. Kind of like behind the scenes, but also like everything that I've shared with you guys, Nova, just like lots of craziness, honestly. So it's been... It's been a lot. Quite frankly, right now, I think I'm just ready for like a change. I think the move will possibly give me what I'm looking for. Z and I have been kind of experimenting with the idea of starting new. And for me, starting new or just starting with something fresh gives me more perspective. It gives me more creativity and like inspiration with my channel and like a new space i've always been one to kind of like create my own change for myself when i'm a little overwhelmed or when i'm just needing something new but he's the opposite he's like i feel like problems follow you and you can't run away from your problems and i don't think it's necessarily running away i just feel like like i said it's a new perspective it's like a fresh start it's a fresh feel and all these problems that we're having here it's like isolated to here if that makes sense so it's not like they would follow me it's not like a mindset it's just like things that have happened in this area that honestly trigger me like i feel like i'm stuck living in this craziness of this life and i feel like a move a fresh move would be something that would really kind of get me back up over water i don't know so it was nice to have a therapy appointment for once and bryson was included in that therapy <laughs> he was going crazy like literally freaking crazy that's what i like about better help is like I could just be on my couch and have a screaming baby and walk around with him. I don't need to go anywhere and it was just really nice to be able to do it on my time. Crying crazy baby and all. And then the minute I turned off the camera, he was like, <laughs> I was like, you little stinks. Look at him holding his bottle. Oh my god. Um, it's really dark, but it's still fruity. It's like a... It's like a bold cab wine. It's like, <laughs> just got a lot of flavor, man. On a scale of 1 to 10, what do you think? It's not for me. Yeah, I don't think it. It's bizarre. Last night, I had a dream of us coming together. Last night, in my dream, I saw unity. I had, I had a taste of democracy, and I felt. Felt safe. East to the west and south to the north.